I want to extend my congratulations to you, Madam Prime Minister. Well, becoming Prime Minister and working out uh, toward building closely with you. And as close to Sal as you go, there's a lot we can continue to do together. And there's no issue that I can think of a global consequence for the United States, not a kingdom, and not working in cooperation. And I expect we will continue to be able to do that. And we have a full agenda today from supporting Ukraine and, uh, and the threat uh, as it defends itself against Russia and Putin's challenges, and, as well as uh, China. And uh, it's uh, posed by preventing Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons as well. There's a lot on the agenda. We also want to talk about energy, which understandably is of significant consequence to all of Europe and Great Britain and, and England, the United Kingdom in particular. And finally, uh, we both are committed to protecting the gains of the Good Friday Agreement in Northern Ireland. I'm looking forward to hearing what's on your mind and how we can be so thank you very much, Mr. President, for welcoming me. And thank you also uh, to you and the First Lady for coming to the United Kingdom for the funeral of Her Late Majesty. She was the rock on which modern Britain was built. And I have seen a huge outpouring of affection for her in the United Kingdom, but also here in the United States. And we're very grateful for all the support that you have given us over the what has been two very difficult weeks in the United Kingdom as we move towards the reign of King Charles III and we enter a new era. And as you say, Mr. President, we are steadfast allies. And I've enjoyed working with um, Tony Blinken uh, very closely on our response on Russia's appalling war in Ukraine and making sure that we are supporting the Ukrainians in their fight for freedom. But we face huge challenges as autocracies seek to cement and increase their assertiveness around the world. And that is why we're stepping up in terms of our defence spending. We're going to be moving to 3% of GDP uh, on defence spending. And that's why we want to work more closely uh, with the United States, especially on energy security, on our economic security, but also in reaching out to fellow democracies around the world to make sure that democracies prevail and we protect the freedom and future of our citizens. And of course, I'm looking forward to discussing the Belfast Good Friday Agreement and how we make sure that's upheld into the future. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for welcoming me and my delegate.